the government has failed miserably in handling the covid-19 pandemic and it's a shame that health ministers like dr harshwardhan say that we are in the end game of a pandemic and the worst part is they endorse medicines like coronal they went for the launch of coronal like they why and ramdev baba for his statements on allopathy and oxygen should be put in jail he shouldn't be outside right now but what to do this is new india the bjp and the hindutva ideology has a inferiority complex that's why they promote things like cow urine and cow dung and a manipuri journalist literally got arrested for speaking up against cow dung and cow urine i'm telling you na this is new india you even see the ayush ministry has gained significant importance in the modi government not to say that ayush is wrong but kuch bhi mat pel do even ramchandra guha says modi's hindutva irrationality makes india's war on covid-19 even more difficult which is true if it is traditional that doesn't mean that it is right even sati was practiced that time that doesn't mean it's right there has to be some scientific basis to it the government along with others have peddled a lot of pseudoscience during this pandemic so in this video we are going to talk about top 10 pseudo scientific claims amid this pandemic the first five will be explained by pranav radhakrishnan who has a channel called science is dope very bus a lot of pseudo scientific claims with that being said let's start Let's start with number 10 on the list. The Prime Minister called for two wins to acknowledge the efforts put forth by the frontline workers and the medical workers tirelessly working to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. On the 22nd of March at 5 p.m. for 5 minutes he called for people to come bang their pots and pans. Uh and again at 9 p.m. on the 5th of April for 9 minutes he asked people to light diyas and candles in their houses for the same purpose. But unfortunately there were WhatsApp forwards like these and tweets by celebrities like these that grossly misinformed the public. We saw people taking to the streets in hordes disregarding all social distancing and isolation protocols thinking they would decimate the virus by doing so because our prime minister told us. Well we all know how that turned out. That is the power of misinformation. <laughs> We then had people like Sadhguru offering medical advice that was not based on any evidence like this. One thing is it will enhance your lung capacity another thing is it will enhance your immunity Not just Sadhguru I'm just using him as an example because Tane and I are huge fans of him Uh, but many accounts that had a significant following uh, many alternative medicine accounts uh, some yoga pages on instagram suddenly they all became very knowledgeable on all medical topics and started giving out advice and the worst offender here is probably number 8 i'm going to have some obvious advice for people suffering because of the oxygen shortage Plant some trees. Plants breathe out oxygen. Didn't you learn all this in science in school? Someone seems to have forgotten to tell her that medical oxygen is not the same as atmospheric oxygen. Turns out she tested positive and continued to spew misinformation on her Instagram page now that her Twitter account is banned. <coughs> Next we had entire parties by people to drink cow urine because they believe it can neutralize the effects of covid-19 not just cow urine but cow dung as well Men in western India are smearing cow dung all over their arms head and entire bodies These participants believe that the dung can even ward off covid-19 It's a real shame when people like these are working tirelessly to tarnish the image of a country at a world stage. At number 6 we have coronal. Patanjali has claimed evidence based medicine which can apparently cure covid. It was based on a very flawed study of only 100 participants almost all of whom were asymptomatic and the average age of participants was in their early 30s. They also claim that WHO certified this which was completely false. This kind of study can never be the basis for releasing uh, and marketing any kind of medicine and because of this Patanjali got a lot of backlash. It was banned in the state of Maharashtra. FIAs were filed and finally Patanjali came out and said it didn't actually cure covid. Back to Tanay for the rest of the list. <laughs> Thanks Pranav and let's come to the fifth one now where celebrities endorse traditional medicines 
Akshay Kumar was endorsing Chavan Prash. Protection against COVID-19 with two spoons of Chavan Prash daily. According to clinical study conducted across five centers, Dabar Chavan Prash helps protection against COVID-19. First thing to clinical study just two so fight somewhere. Matlab kidar bhi. We'll just say that you have conducted a lot of clinical study and you know put it on people like yeah, both do bhinchad. And Chavan Prash is the most hyped thing like I have ever seen. Like any problem you have na have Chavan Prash. You have depression have Chavan Prash. You have cancer have Chavan Prash. You have AIDS have Chavan Prash. Your TV is giving problems have Chavan Prash. Everything na Chavan Prash can just solve it. Then there is Amitabh Bachchan. Hi. As a beneficiary of homeopathy, I am encouraged to see the efforts of the Ayush Ministry to counter Corona. I pray that India leads the world in finding preventive and curative solutions for such epidemics. Homeopathy also claims to cure everything. Like even if a disease still has to come na, even that it has a cure for. It's a f- sab kuch. <laughs> and what the weird part about these celebrities is that they'll keep endorsing all this homeopathy, chavan prash, and all these weird medicines. And when their time comes and they get infected with COVID or any other disease, they are the ones to run to the hospital, a normal hospital. These celebrities must understand that their words have a huge impact on people, and they should choose their words carefully and just not endorse any random things because that might stop people from taking treatment. <laughs> The next one is antibiotics. On social media, you see everywhere that if you have COVID, you know have antibiotics. But the very basic thing of antibiotics is that it is used to treat bacterial infections, not viral infections. They are two different infections. One doesn't work for the other. So antibiotics is for bacterial infection and don't have antibiotics for COVID-19 or any other viral disease because this again raises the problem of antibiotic resistance if you have it for no reason there are chances that bacteria might start getting resistant towards the antibiotic so in future if you have some bacterial infection then the medicines might not work for you <coughs> then the third one is steam the most largely endorsed thing like the heat from the steam na goes inside your lungs and kills the virus re <laughs> like the one in this video <laughs> I don't know what he did inside that cabinet, but for sure it wasn't steam. The way he came out happy out of it, it was something else. <laughs> Inhaling steam also hasn't proven to be effective against COVID-19. So please stop this message which which goes around that you know inhale steam to kill the virus due to temperature. In fact, it can raise problems like severe burns. This is also an issue. The second one is Biswarup Roy Chaudhary, the legend, the Masiha of India, the one who said that COVID nineteen doesn't exist and it is just a profit making thing for all doctors. Even vaccines don't work, and vaccine is something which is used for population control. <laughs> Kya baat? <laughs> He literally called COVID nineteen a scam, and it is nothing but a normal flu, like nothing more. Why are you doing much, much on it so much? And the first one, I wouldn't call this pseudo science, but misinformation. Hydroxychloroquine, Fabi flu, plasma, and Remdesivir. All four of these have not proven to be effective against COVID nineteen. In fact, plasma has been dropped from clinical trials in India. Even remdesivir is going to be removed from line of treatment of India. If you want more information on remdesivir, I have made a video on it already. Please do check it out. The worst part about these medicines was that a lot of black marketing was done, and people spent like insane amount of money behind it. Like remdesivir in the black market costed approximately twenty thousand, thirty thousand per injection. and people took around 4 5 injections so people spent in lakhs lakhs like to have zero effect of it so these were the top 10 pseudo scientific claims amid the covid 19 pandemic and one more thing to remember is that we are not anti hindu for going against ayurveda and ayurveda is not wrong it has its own benefits but kuch bhi mat pel dena like there are certain limitations 
proper study needs to be conducted behind things by you jumping the gun people's lives come in danger and if your medicine is really effective come out and show the people let proper studies be conducted on it you will even get a nobel prize if it is proven to be effective and one more thing to remember is that ayurveda is not ramdev baba and ramdev baba is not ayurveda when we go against ramdev baba people think that you know we are going against ayurveda that's not the case they are two different things and that's about it thank you everyone for watching the video see you guys in the next one Bye-bye.